This first start of the season is not going to make you very happy. This is your pitching planner brought to you by Holiday Inn. We're so glad to have you. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Eric Mack, I'm talking about Dontrell Willis. Not great in his first start of this season. Four earned runs on eight hits in four and two-thirds innings. Is he, is he not ready yet? Well, yeah, Dontrell Willis, the, the loss of command is uh, frustrating because you figured he would have that straightened out by now, but, um, you know, it's still going still going problematic for him. So you got to keep him on your bench. I still think he's worth owning, though. A 27-year-old who has a healthy arm and a healthy uh, shoulder and elbow, I think, can still have value down the stretch. So Dontrell returns, as does Irvin Santana and John Lackey, a couple of Angels. Lackey's uh, start on Friday, pushed back to Saturday, doesn't mean much. He'll still face the Texas Rangers, right? Right. It's the slotting of Irvin Santana that moved him back. And because Santana's pitching on Thursday, he will be a two-star pitcher in Fantasy Week 7. I think he'll be a must-start, two-star pitcher. Um, and then John Lackey's going to be a must-start, one-star pitcher. Both these Angels are aces for your fantasy lineup, and you've got to keep them active. Okay. This is what we are doing now. We're talking about the holiday and change of the week because change is everywhere. You have a couple guys to talk about. Don't Four you? guys okay. returning from the DL. Carlos Zambrano uh, pitching in a rehab start this weekend and then returning late next week. Chris Carpenter is hoping to return late next week. Daisuke Matsuzaka and Chin Ming Wong, both are coming off the DL. Um, uh, they were sent to the DL not necessarily because of injury, but a lowered velocity and uh, poor performance. So those two guys might not be as trustworthy. Carlos Zambrano and Chris Carpenter may not pitch, but track their news through the weekend before you make a roster decision on them. It is the middle of May, which is nuts, which means June first call-ups are right around the corner. David Price, Tommy Hansen, how are they doing? Well, David Price is struggling a little bit. He hasn't gone past five innings in a start yet, while Tommy Hansen is just blowing people away. I don't think he's had less than nine strikeouts in any given start this year. Hansen can be called up any day, while David Price will probably wait until they make a decision on Jeff Neiman, who's the struggling number five starter for the Rays. But both these guys are must-own, must-stash, and once they arrive, they'll be must-starts. These guys have arrived, and this next guy I'm talking about has definitely arrived, Cliff Lee, seven strong against the White Sox. Do you like him? Do you trust him at this point in time in the yeah, season? Yeah, he's had a slow start to the season. He's lost more games this year than all of last season, but he's been solid, and those matchups are winnable. I think you've got to run him out there in all leagues. One guy that I wouldn't trust in all leagues now is Ricky Nolasco, the 15-game winner a year ago. He struggled um, to start this season, and I said early this season that he was one of the busts because – a lot of people were thinking he'd make a jump from 15 wins to maybe 20 wins, but his stuff's really not that good, and it's shown so far, and I think you can't trust him in mixed leagues right now. Can you trust your sleepers? And I'm talking about Brandon McCarthy. We've talked about this before. He has run support. Are his numbers good enough? Eli? Well, Brandon McCarthy's pitched, uh, can pitch a lot better than he has throughout his major league career, and I, I really like him going forward, especially with that offense. You know, he's facing a tough Tigers offense and a hot Astros offense, but his offense can score more runs for him than anybody. So I, I like him as a sleeper in deeper leagues. He can get a couple wins for you. And then Trevor Cahill, he's one of the best rookie pitchers in baseball, flying under the radar right now, a guy that keeps the ball down, keeps it in the park. He struggled with walks a little bit, but when you keep the ball down, you can get a lot of double play balls, and he's been throwing up some zeros lately. Good stuff. Thanks, Mac. This has been your Pitching Planner brought to you by Holiday Inn. Go to www.relaunch.holidayinn.com or visit a local Holiday Inn near you. The signs of change are everywhere. For Eric Mack, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Thanks for watching.